Hi guys, welcome back at my channel Classic Car Rescue. My name is Ralf and in this video I will show you how I restored a rusted and completely demolished sliding door from a T2 VW bay window bus. The restoration of the sliding door took a total of 9 workshop days and with it just as many episodes on my German YouTube channel Old Timer Rescue. If you want to look at this very detailed work, you are welcome to do so. Up here is a link to the first sliding door video in German language. Usually it would have been more sensible and cheaper to buy a new sliding door. I would surely have done that too, if there were any at the market. But there wasn't any. The sliding door was always closed with brute force and was the first thing that came off when I bought this bus. As you may have seen from my other videos, the metal sheets and supports below the sliding door from the B-pillar to the C-pillar were completely rusted away and need to be replaced. As for the biggest part on this side, it's important to get the sliding door as a reference for everything. To do this, however, it must be restored to its old shape and repaired. The first thing I did was remove the old paint from the door to get a first overview of the condition. Here that middle part looks also good. No bondo. Here they damaged it a little bit, but this we can repair. Maybe we weld a new part on it. No problem, no big issue. But this is a big issue. You see here there's a big dent. Then the rest of it looks good. No bondo and no dents. Maybe we can save the door. So this is uh, the sliding door from the inside. It looks not too bad. Only this corner isn't great. This is the repair panel for the, the inner part of the sliding door. Uh, I bought this repair panel and uh, this fits very good. I think it's a little bit too large at the side because if I can put it now uh, at the old sliding door, it has, it is a little bit too wide. So I have to bend it here a little bit more um, to prevent that we have wrong edges at the end. This is only the reference to know later on where the edge has to be here to prevent that we get a longer uh, panel here like it should be. Okay, then let's turn the door around and let's remove this inner, inner part.
You can see here that this lower sheet still looks really good and we only have rust on the two corners. So I'm going to leave the big middle part of the sheet metal like it is and just renew the corners. You can also see here how well wax works against rust. Preserving this area is also important so that we can preserve the old band in the lower area of the sliding door. The repair panels only have a rudimentary radius. I cut the new corner pieces out of the repair sheet. I'm missing a few millimeters at the bottom, but this is not a problem because the outer sheet still holds there. Also muss ich nichts mehr anschweißen, aber es steht genau in der Höhe dieser Bohrung. Ähm, ich habe das jetzt innen angeschweißt, habe das jetzt hier angeschweißt und ich glaube, ich schweiße es dann äh, beim nächsten Mal noch von der anderen Seite an. Dann fehlt uns nur noch diese Ecke hier vorne. Und dann können wir das andere Blech oben drauf machen. You are always on my mind You are always on my mind Oh yeah Da habe ich fast zu viel abgeschnitten. Ich glaube, ich habe zu viel Urlaub.
Dort, wo die Täler grünen, dort war ich ein Mal zu Hause. Because I love you all too much, baby, yeah. Oh, don't you know I record in a trap. I can't walk out because I love you too much, baby, yeah. see how well the weld seam emerges on the back and how we have a perfect connection between the sheets. Here you can see very well that the edge of the outer sheet goes too far beyond the edge of the door. So I first have to hammer this sheet metal smooth and bend it again so that we get a uniform edge later. The outer sheet is welded to the old sheet with an overlap. Right and left over the carrier sheet metal is then cut out so that we can butt weld it there. Now that the areas of the inner support plates have been cleaned, I paint them with anti-rust paint.
sweet souls surrender. My heart was captured. Now you can see very nicely how the old cover sheet is making waves under the new sheet. We have to compensate for this with skillful welding and hammering. Fortunately the inner frame of the door gives us more options to stabilize the cover plate later. Now Hannes, the great master of bodywork, has come and shows me how to use the ancient spot welding device. Bisschen drehen, damit sich der Schweißpunkt löst. Das sieht doch schon mal gar nicht so verkehrt aus. Ja. Es geht ja easy. Jetzt haben wir hier die, die Schweißpunkte drauf. Sehr gut. Und dann hält dieses Blech. Perfekto. In the foreground you can see the blue mass. This is a kind of heat blocker but it is of little use and also attacks the sheet metal. All that remains in the classic welding technique of cooling with compressed air after each welding point and setting the next point at a distant point. This is, a, is time consuming but prevents the sheets of working. With this beautiful tool we pull the dents out of the sheet metal. The device is also ancient which makes it very heavy but effective.
what looked like small holes on the lower window frame then turned out to be a rust hole. So I cut out the whole thing, repaired it with an individual sheet metal and welded it. This edge here is extremely compressed and can no longer be bulged. That's why I cut it out and weld a new edge sheet on. down with the rest of the old paint, some rust converter and straighten out other dents.
Now I completely prime the sliding door with 2K epoxy primer, so it is already protected against moisture and we have a perfect hot primer to apply and process fill away later. What you saw here in a 30 minutes summary actually took about 80 hours. I think it was really worth it. If you liked it too, leave me a subscription, a comment and a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.